Hey guys, my name is Bozo and today I'll be taking you through a short pregnancy exercise program that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Let's start with the warm up, okay? You'll be marching on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing two sets of those for 20 repetitions. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like that. And then after I'm going to do shoulder rolls. 10 forward, 10 back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now roll it forward. 2, 3. Make sure that you're breathing well. You're not holding in your breath. Give me two more. And last one. Okay. Now, let's target the legs and, legs and warm them up. Air squats. Open your legs, hip width apart, or just even a bit wider. Okay, and then you will sit back into a squat, bring it back up. Sit back gently into a squat and up. We're going to do about 10 of these. That's four, five. Make sure that your knee is not going over your toes. And you're breathing and not holding in your breath. Arms are being stretched out as you sit back. Give me one more. And relax. Now, modified, modified high knees. Okay. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you can't take it all the way up, that's okay. You can stop here, modify it according to how big your belly is. Just adjust it. Okay, let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And that's your warm up. Now for our main session. First exercise, PA squats. Starting position. Open up your legs just outside your shoulders. Point out your toes like a ballerina. So we're going to squat down and then come up slowly, come up slowly and squeezing the glutes on that upward movement. Okay. So from here, sit back into a squat and squeeze those glutes on the way up. Let's try it again. Make sure that your feet are pointed out just to a point of where you are comfortable. Okay. If you can go wider, great. All the way down and back up. You are doing about 10 to 12 repetitions here, depending on your fitness level. All the way down and back up. Make sure that your back is straight. You are embracing your core. You're pulling your belly button towards your spine. And the big thing, keep breathing. All the way down and back up. Let's do two more. Down and up. Don't forget to squeeze those glutes and breathe. Awesome work. Second exercise, bird dog. This exercise is really great to strengthen your core and strengthen your lower back. On the floor, you're going to get onto all fours. And what we'll do here, you take out your right leg first, followed by your left arm. Alternate. All fours, ensuring that your wrist is directly under your shoulder and your hip is in line with your knee. From here, right leg out slowly, left arm out. Breathe and bring it back. Left leg out, right hand out. And slowly bring it in. Right leg out again. And make sure when the leg is out, it's in line with your hip. It's not high up or too low. Right here and then arm um, out. If you are struggling with the coordination and the balance, what you can do, take out your right leg first, bring it in. Left arm um, out and back in. Left leg out, bring it in. Right arm um, out. Just like that. Third exercise, Kegels. So we've heard of this exercise quite a lot and it's really great. 
to strengthen your pelvic floor. I hope you have been doing it. If not, good time to start. So we will be lying down on our back, printing our back onto the mat, knees bent. So here you have to imagine that you're, you, you know, you're releasing a stream of urine and then after that you stop it quickly and then release again. What you do, stop it for about five seconds and out. Lie down the mat. Hands on the side, knees bent. So with your back, you see there's a gap here. What we want to achieve is printing your back onto the mat, hands on the side. And from here, stop the stream of urine and release. And just like that. So you do this about two to three times in the day. Awesome work, you're doing very well. Third exercise is a clap. So you're starting position, you're on the side and lie down on your side. Have your left arm firmly placed on the mat. Your top arm will be helping to support you and balance you. Your hips are stacked on top of each other, your knees together and your feet together. So from this position, you're going to slowly and gently lift the top leg up, gently and back down okay all the way up almost into a 90 degree position and back down if you can't lift all the way that's okay you can do small short movements that's all right do about 10 to 12 repetitions on each side if it's very uncomfortable you can take a pillow put it underneath or alternatively you can lie down like this rest your head on your arm and take up your legs slowly back up and down same movement nice and effective bring it up gently walk your hands forward to stand up then what we will be doing now standing push-ups really great exercise to work on your arms shoulders and back okay and it's not putting too much pressure on the core so what you do is stand with your hip, um, with your feet hip width apart and your arms straighten out on the wall. What you do here, going to lean in forward, press it in and back out. If you feel that you need to go a bit wider with your arms, you can go slightly wider. So from here, if you need to go a bit wider like that and push it in, just like that. So your nose is almost like touching the wall, but not quite. And make sure that your hips, you're not in this position, but tuck your hip in and press it forward with your chest and your arms bending, bring it back out. I'll do about three of these. One, gently in, two, Make sure that you're breathing as well. You're not holding your breath while you do this. All the way in and back. And that's the last exercise. Don't forget, go out for a brisk walk to cool down or stretch it out at home. That's it. Well done, mommy. You've done a good job. Don't forget to follow me on social media, on Instagram at fitnessmpanda for more workouts. Cheers.